All right, uh, in this exercise, uh, we want to work out the relationship between CP and CV, or constant pressure and constant volume heat capacities. To do so, um, in our, so there's the screencasts available um, where we work out um, an expression for the differential of S with independent variables T and P, and there's also a screencast where we work out the differential of S with independent variables T and V. So the derivation is going to be dependent on uh, these two expressions, which I give here. Uh, in here, and so I won't derive them in the interest of time, uh, but I'll take those from those previous screencasts and we'll build off of those. Okay, and so I'm going to use the two of those as, as my starting point because they're both expressions for uh, the differential of entropy, and so both equations are correct uh, and therefore have to be uh, consistent with each other. Okay, and so there's a, a number of ways that we could go about deriving it, but you know, why I'm starting here again is these are two different expressions for uh, entropy, one with independent variables temperature and pressure, one with uh, temperature and volume, and that need to be um, essentially equivalent um, with each other, right? They're two valid equivalent expressions just using a different set of independent variables, okay? And so what I'm going to do with this is, okay, if I look at my first equation, okay, so ds is cp over t dt minus dv dt a constant p dp. Okay, and so we see then that you know partial s partial t a constant p right is equal to cp over t. Okay. And then likewise over here we see that partial s partial t a constant v is equal to cv over t. Okay. So okay. What I can do then is I can either start with this expression, okay, um, if I start with this expression, okay, on the left hand side I have ds, I have a cp over t term here, okay, so I have, you know, ds is, is this, okay, and cp is present here, well I know that partial s partial t at constant v is equal to cv over t. So if I start with this expression, I can work out an expression for partial s partial t at constant v, which I know is equal to cv over t, um, and see what that's equal to, right? And I could do uh, the same thing with this if I'd want to start uh, over here, uh, but there I'd get ds dt at constant p. Okay, so in practice, okay, so what I'm getting at then is, okay, let me write ds is equal to cp over t dt minus partial v partial t at constant p dp, okay? So I have cp here, so cp is already present, to get CV, I know that CV over T is partial S partial T at constant V. So from here, I'm going to work out an expression for partial S partial T at constant V. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to start by dividing my differentials by DT. So I'm going to divide my differentials by DT. Okay, I can only differentiate with respect to one variable at a time. So here I'm going to keep volume constant. And then in theory, these should become partial derivatives. Okay, so then simplifying, I have ds dt a constant v, which is just cv over t. So now I have cv over t is equal to cp over t, partial t, partial t a constant v is just 1. Okay, and so that'll be minus partial v, partial t a constant p, partial p, partial t, a constant v. Okay, cool. And that's it. All right. If I want to say multiply through by a t, I can do that. I have cv then is equal to cp minus t times partial v, partial t, a constant p, dp, dt, a constant v. Or I'll write this as cp minus CV is equal to T times partial V, partial T a constant P, times partial P, partial T a constant V. All right, and there is my final expression. Okay, and I could get to the same point a number of different ways. As I said, we could have started with our other expression for the differential of S, um, and then differentiated to get um, C P on the left-hand side uh, than in that case. All right, and the last thing I'll do here is if I want to work this out for the case of an ideal gas. Okay. 
So in an ideal gas, we have that PV is equal to RT. So I think of the two differentials I need to evaluate. Okay, well, V is equal to RT over P. Um, or equivalently then, solving for P, P is equal to RT over V. So that partial V, partial T, a constant P, well, that's equivalent to partial RT over P, partial T, a constant P, pressure is constant, R is constant, that becomes R over P, um, then I just have DT, DT, a constant P, which is 1. Okay. Likewise, partial P, partial T, a constant V is equal to partial RT over V, partial T, a constant P, uh, not a constant T, a constant V. So R is constant and V is constant, R over V. Um, so R over V is constant, I can pull it out and I have partial T, partial T, a constant V, uh, which is just one. So then, okay, plugging in, I have for the case of an ideal gas, CP minus CV of an ideal gas is equal to T times R over P times R over V. All right, now, Let's simplify this. <laughs> so how am I going to simplify this? Well, I do it a number of ways. So here's my ideal gas equation of state. Okay, one is I know that say RT over P is equal to V. Right here I have RT over P. Right, so I can just substitute in that that's just V. Right, RT over P is just V. So I can write this V times R over V, which is just equal to R. Okay, so we get the relationship for an ideal gas. The CP ideal gas minus CV ideal gas is just equal to R. Okay, so rather than take that um, as you were told in Thermal 1, we now just derived it.